Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who were in mourning. Exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather on this fourth Sunday of Lent to offer to God in this Mass our prayer and praise, we hear in the Gospel of our Lord's healing. Let us pray particularly for all in need of his healing touch today. For those affected in so many ways by coronavirus and for those who are fearful and isolated. Today is also Mothering Sunday and so we give thanks for all mothers and for all who give maternal care. You can find links to an order of service and for the readings for this Mass on the front page of our website www.holyredeemerclarkenwell.com To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen myself a king among his sons. When Samuel arrived, he caught sword of Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed one stands there before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Take no notice of his appearance or his height, for I have rejected them. God does not see as man sees. Man looks at appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. Jesse presented his seven sons to Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. He then asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? He answered, There is still one left, the youngest. He is out looking after the sheep. Then Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not sit down to eat until he comes. Jesse has sent for a boy of fresh complexion with fine eyes and pleasant bearing. The Lord said, come, anoint him, for this is the one. At this, Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him where he stood with his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord seized on David and stayed with him from that day on. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You were darkness once, but now you are light in the Lord. Be like children of light, for the effects of the light are seen in complete goodness and right living and truth. Try to discover what the Lord wants of you, having nothing to do with the fruitful works of darkness, but exposing them by contrast. The things which are done in secret are things that people are ashamed even to speak of. But anything exposed by the light will be illuminated, and anything illuminated turns into light. That is why it is said, wake up from your sleep, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the Word of God. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the Word of God. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the light of the world. The Lord be with you. And also we hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to your Lord. As Jesus went along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. He spat on the ground, made a paste with the spittle, put this over the eyes of the blind man, and said to him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam, a name that means sent. So the blind man went off and washed himself and came away with his sight restored. His neighbours and people who earlier had seen him begging said, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, Yes, it is the same one. Others said, No, he only looks like him. The man himself said, I am the man. They brought the man who had been blind to the Pharisees. It had been a Sabbath day when Jesus made the paste and opened the man's eyes. So when the Pharisees asked him how he had come to see, he said, He put a paste on my eyes, and I washed, and I can see. Then some of the Pharisees said, This man cannot be from God, he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, How could a sinner produce signs like this? And there was disagreement among them. So they spoke to the blind man again. What have you to say about him yourself, now that he has opened your eyes? He is a prophet, replied the man. Are you trying to teach us, they replied, and you a sinner through and through since you were born? And they drove him away. Jesus heard they had driven him away, and when he found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Sir, the man replied, tell me who he is, so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, you are looking at him, he is speaking to you. The man said, Lord, I believe, and worshipped him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
We have heard in today's gospel of the Lord's ability to heal. This is a message all of us need to hear today. But there is more to this gospel message still. For the Lord did not heal a blind man, but healed a man blind from his birth. This is an easy point to miss, but it is an important one. For the Lord does not return this man's sight. He gives him a capacity which he never had in the first place. This points to the way God is able to totally transform our wayward human nature, to give us capacity for insight, to help us to behold the light that shines in the darkness and which the darkness cannot overcome. Those of us who have been bathed in the waters of baptism have become a new creation in Christ. We have received the capacity for a new way of life, not limited by fear or even by death. We are called to experience the life of this world in the light of Christ, a light which brings confidence, courage, hope and resolution in times like these. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In faith and trust, let us pray to God, our Heavenly Father. For all who are afflicted by coronavirus through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policy, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. For doctors, nurses, medical researchers, and all in the caring professions, that through their skill and insight, many may be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. On this Mothering Sunday for all mothers and for those who have cared for us, giving thanks for their love and commitment. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know God's comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That God will receive into his care and keeping all who have gone from this world. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Amen. 
we rejoice that we are part of a church which is not only militant here in earth, but also triumphant in heaven. And we ask the prayers of all the saints, especially those of Mary, the Mother of God, whom we greet now, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Gracious God, we ask you to accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings, which bring eternal wealth to the Lord. Pray that we may both live in the Lord and present them to you, as is fitting, for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for the Lord our Son. 
peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. Of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who are born to the Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Thank you.